hey, hey. why do you lie? Eh? Why do you lie? Why do you always put yourself in a position where you turn out to look smaller in the eyes of people? Well, flashes, in case if you do not know, the people that you're lying to already know that you're lying. and I am a multimedia journalist and yes this is a space where we talk about certain things you know there's lifestyle inspirations motivations just find way into navigating through life okay social trending topics so please make sure you click on the subscribe button and make sure you click on the post notification bell so that you can get alerts whenever I upload something new all right so with that being said uh, there's something that's been bugging me yes that I thought I just have to say it People can lie, sha ah, and it's becoming too much. I mean, the extent of people lying now, and the major reason why people lie is for validation. There's people that you want them to give you validation. How much do they give you? How much are they paying you? Nothing. So at the end of the day, you just ruin your own reputation because of lies. And guess what about lies? The more you lie, the more you forget how you lied about it. Do you get? That's the thing. And whether we like it or not, people don't know you're a liar just for the barest time. Before you know it, everybody will discover that you're nothing but a liar. And then the people around you, people like us will easily call you and say about and call your BS and tell you, dude, you're lying too much. It's becoming too much. But other people will not. They will just sit down, let you spew your lies as usual and then the moment you step out of that place they start laughing at you it is crazy the, the way people lie it's becoming too much first of all let's start with basic things people lie because of finance you lie that you act all rich and mighty in front of people and then you lose all the opportunity someone would want to even help you but because you've already painted yourself as though you are a, a Bill Gates relation, someone that has never traveled abroad would start telling people that, oh, I have traveled to such so, so country. And then at the long run, you meet somebody who is ready to sponsor you, but you already acted as though you're rich. So opportunity gone. I mean, why do I need to even act rich? I feel it's better for you to act smart, act as though you, you, you're willing to learn some things and that way you will learn and take yourself to a better place. And then there's another most annoying lie that people do, lying before marriage. First of all, you have even studied this person. You people have told each other exactly what you expect in marriage and all that. The marriage still they stress people. Talk more of you now picking yourself, putting yourself in a position where you're going to spend the rest of your life with this person but you put yourself in a position where everything just turns sour marriage is one thing that even with the truth it is still difficult to navigate not to talk more of you lying so you lie about marriage you lie about these things and then what happened you're going to spend the rest of your life with this person for how long do you think you lie to that person have you never heard of the fact that your family knows you best that means if you should lie to your spouse man or woman eventually when you start spending your first month second month before the year runs out my guy my girl that person has already realized that you are lying that you lied and what will now happen then they will now start, your marriage will start being shaky it is not worth it at all so if you're even thinking of, uh, of going into marriage with that kind of mindset with lies then please stop a guy will promise the girl heaven and earth when you know that you cannot deliver. The girl will promise the guy heaven and above, I mean the entirety of the world. And then you cannot even deliver on that one. Please stop lying. You need to be honest with someone. In marriage, you don't even, you're not even expected to expect. <laughs> I hope that works. <laughs> English. All right. Okay. You're not even supposed to expect put any expectations in marriage yes at all because things would definitely not pan out the way that you see it so it's, it's better for you to have an open mind and that open mind comes with from outside you tell the person exactly who you are that way even when other uncertainties of life comes in the person would at least have the basic knowledge of who you truly are in that would help him guide him or her 
out of that particular situation that both of you find yourself in so please no lies of marriage so irritating and then yes the senior people who, <laughs> the people that are, will just sit down and create land tell somebody that they feed somebody oh my god mm, 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 mm. well done well done you go and lie to your helper that you you are the helper not knowing that you need help as well <laughs> why would you even put yourself in that kind of situation why validation so the person should look at you and say oh wow you're doing well to a point that you would not do something for someone you love and then you go out and start bragging and tell the person that i oh i'm the one that used to do this oh you saw the clothes that she's wearing it's mine i gave it to her meanwhile you are lying First of all, people lie like that for two reasons. One, to make that person look small, or two, to make themselves look big. Now, if that person, the society is looking at that person with this, hmm, she's, she's actually good. Oh my God, she's successful. Uh, or he is successful. And then you go out and say, oh, he's my boy, or she's my girl. I'm the one do, doing this for her, you know? So you're trying to make it because there's envy in your mind. Envy, yes, yes. You, you feel intimidated by that person. So you want the world to see that person as though they are nothing which if if the world should see the person as they're nothing how would that change your life how would that help you how would that carry you and put you in a high pedestal how would that make you rich nada making someone look bad in front of people will not raise your own value because as you are ruining that person's name in the presence of those people those people will never trust you ever They'll feel like the same way you're spoiling that person's name. If you should leave their presence, you're going to do it to other people, which is the absolute truth. And also, if you are doing it to put yourself in that high pedestal, uh, you know, to tell yourself that, oh my God, that girl that everybody is seeing, that she has made it in life, but then, or that guy that, that everybody is thinking he's made it in life, I am the one sponsoring that person. My brother, for how long would you lie, would you pull that lie out? Somebody would definitely tell that person or somebody would definitely figure it out Or you keep telling these people that you're doing everything for that person and even the people you're sharing that idea with, you're not doing anything to them or for them There are people that the world benefits more than people close to them and it's all in order to get that validation of people Validation of people that will not do anything in your life Have you ever seen a situation whereby lies you know uh yield good results the only place that i uh, i know in holy book that it was stated that you can lie is when you lie in order to create peace that's it maybe two people are fighting and then you go to the other person and tell the other person that oh that lady says ah, she, she's done with this fight i mean in the first place she doesn't even know why you people are fighting and then you go to the other person and say honestly i don't think she i think she even likes you she's saying that she's done with all of these things that's is the kind of lie that is allowed religiously you lie because you don't want to hurt your loved one you know put your put them in that position where they'll feel sad just to butter their mind that's it but any lies that is apart from that dude stop lying girl stop lying it is not worth it please it is it, it's becoming irritating and one of the things that definitely makes you to start developing that liar syndrome. I call it liar syndrome because it has become a disease. One thing that will make you develop it is when you talk too much. Shh, you. Stop talking too much. You sit down and, and the first thing that comes to your mind is to start blabbing. You don't even listen. When you don't listen, you don't learn. You cannot know it all. You're in the midst of people, but you only want your voice to be heard. You need to shh and learn from other people. There are basic, subtle knowledge that you get from people when you sit down with them. But then when you tell yourself that, no, I am the one that knows it best. I am the one that needs to be heard. Before you know it, you will say or you speak all your truth. And then you start yabbing and capping. And it will now make you just go down. Maybe people already have so much respect and regard for you you just come and then you wah open your mouth and everything just goes out and the people that care about you that already know that character will feel embarrassed on your behalf why lie what kind of sin is this 
I mean, if you are at a certain age and you're lying, my brother, my sister, I feel sorry for you. If, if someone is at the youngest age, then we won't have this faith that, okay, this person could change. But if you are still at the certain age, I'm talking about in your 30s and 40s, and you feel the need to have to lie to get validation from people, then I feel sorry for you. Please go back and unlearn. Just go and unlearn that dirty character. It's not okay. See me getting online. It is not okay at all. Please use use your sense. Yeah. So I just have to come out and say this. Stop lying. Anyways, yes. Uh, with that, I, I just had to rant about this. Uh, it's something that's been bugging me. And, and funny enough, I've come across a lot of people like that in, in different stages of my life and i get super irritated yes about this kind of things because when you care about somebody and the person is doing things like this you get so irritated so please just learn to talk less but i would love to hear your thoughts or your experience on this have you ever met someone who done this kind of irritating character or who is deep into it and and you know you were embarrassed on their behalf and if there is more things that you feel people lie about please i would like you to share on the comments section that way we can learn together and see how these things work i mean it's not too late to drop the dirty character and then pick up the good characters from you know people so yeah thank you so much for watching i am Sumaya Abubakar. please do not forget to subscribe make sure you like this video i would appreciate it until next time please stop lying <laughs> bye